What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about the monitors and where you're going to get your information at in a John Deere 8R tractor. Now, once we get up into these larger ag tractors, they're gonna be a lot different than if you are used to a compact utility tractor or maybe a smaller utility tractor where you're used to having a dash that is going to give you information. So for instance, if you were to look right above the steering wheel here on a lot of these machines on the smaller side, you're going to have all your information up here on a front dash like so but as you can see on this machine here we actually don't have anything up here on the dash where all of our information is going to come from are going to be from the two monitors that are going to be on this machine the first one of those is going to be our corner display monitor so that is going to be this guy right here this is going to show such things as our rpms it's also going to show our speedometer once we move down to the bottom half of that section you're going to be able to see what gear you're in what transmission setting you're in you're also going to be able to see your coolant or engine temperature your fuel gauge and also your depth gauge this display is also going to show you all types of warning buttons so whenever you turn the tractor off and turn it back on for the first time, you're going to see all of these lights display. So all of these lights are going to mean something different. So if you have a warning code, you're going to see maybe an exclamation point that is yellow you may get a stop symbol, which means you have a serious issue and you need to stop the tractor. All of those are going to be things that you're going to see on that corner post display. Whenever we're talking about these larger ag tractors, we have a lot of customization that we can do with these. There are a lot of different features and functions on these machines. And so they are going to come with a secondary monitor, which is going to look like this, which is going to be your command center monitor. So from here, this is where we can do all the customization. We can change our controls we can change different settings if we look here it's going to have all types of readings on it from our rear hitch to all of our scvs we're going to have engine power we're going to have transmission rear pto all of those different things that we have then we're going to have also all of these different settings down here at the bottom that we are able to get into then we're going to have a menu this is also going to give us a bunch of different things that we can customize. We can go straight into our HVAC from this menu, be able to change our fan speed, where that is blowing at. We can go into such things as our rear hitch and change those settings. All of these different types of things settings wise is going to come from our command center. Now, along with our command center is also going to be our command arm, which is going to be right here at your right hand side that has all of our buttons and switches and also our driving joystick if your machine is one that comes with that joystick now those are all going to be controlled by the command center monitor right here so if we are looking to change features on the machine change settings different things like that we want to look right down here by our right hand side if we are looking for such things as warning codes or what speed we're going how much fuel we have in the machine our easiest place to look is right up here on the corner display. Those are the two displays that you need to know about in these 8R machines. You may also have one other screen in this machine if you are up high enough in that class of machine. You may also have up here a touchscreen radio, which we do in this machine. Nice feature here. You have that touchscreen radio, AM, FM, XM, all those different types of things, Bluetooth connection, it's the whole package. So just know that whenever you are looking for information in these 8R tractors, we're not gonna be looking here at the dash. We're not gonna be looking over the steering wheel. We're gonna be looking over here to our right to get that information and to customize any of those settings that we may need to. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are looking for more videos like this, or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general, make sure to go check out the rest of the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.